the general aim of the war is to ensure the security of the German Reich in West and East for all time. For all time, which is a long time. Les deux grandes puissances coloniales à cette époque sont la France et l'Angleterre. Russia has huge resources. So from the, the German perspective, you have this combination of fear and temptation. What Austria wants is a war. What it wants, of course, is not a world war. What it wants is a Balkan war. What the Austrians really wanted was Serbia to vanish into thin air. We are about to go to war with France. The German people will be so up for it that nothing will stop the furor Teutonicus. And you had better be on our side because the penalty of being against us will be terrible for you. The French had all the necessary information to fear German attack for Belgium. Разгромить Францию и используя блестящие линии железных дорог перебросить кратчайший срок армию и начать войну с Россией вместе с австрийцами. It was crucial for Berlin to appear to be attacked. Selbstverständlich war es nicht möglich, damals einen Angriffskrieg zu führen und dabei die öffentliche Meinung auf der Seite der Regierung zu haben. Prepare the German mind for this by newspaper articles to represent Russia as barbaric, uh, killing its own people, shooting its own people. But secondly, the best way is to push Austria in the Balkans into a war against Serbia. It was recognized that if Franz Ferdinand went to the maneuvers in Bosnia-Herzegovina, that he was taking a risk. The Serbian minister in Vienna has warned Leo Bilinski, minister in charge for Bosnia, and tells him there are rumors about an assassination attempt and they should be careful. This was an age of political assassination. The security was rather lax. This reinforces the conspiracy argument that Austria-Hungary was prepared to see the Archduke assassinated in order to seek an excuse for war. Poor Leopold, uh, he couldn't sleep last night. He kept getting up and changing the terms of the ultimatum. He was so worried the Serbs might accept it. They wanted Serbia to reject the ultimatum because they had said, this time it's got to be war. Poincaré told the Russian Tsar, you must be firm and you must stand by the Serbs. When Blinsky put it to Franz Josef, you know, this will mean a European war, Franz Josef just muttered, yes. The decision to encourage Austria to attack Serbia was actually taken in Germany in November 1912.